So for the last few weeks, there's this one common question that I get a lot from my friends and family on WhatsApp, on calls, and that is, is there any video editor for Windows that they can use, which is free to use and get some basic tasks done? Like I'm not talking about some YouTube level, but some basic tasks done, right? So I thought that a lot of you guys might also want to know about those video editors that you can use on your Windows machine without paying. So well, that's what we are going to talk about in this video and just not for the basics, I'll be talking about some of the advanced level video editing apps as well. So well, what are we waiting for? Let's get started and have a look. So let's start with the very basic and I guess that most of you would want just simple video editing. I mean, there's this video meeting that you recorded you want to edit or there's this online class that you want to send it to your uh, colleagues or I mean your students. So in that case, the best and the safest bet to use would be the built in Windows 10 video editor. Yes, Windows 10 has a built in video editor, but then not many people know about it because it's not a dedicated app like iMovies on Mac, but then it's not at all like you can't use it or it's not as good as iMovie. Yes, this particular app is very good and you can use it to edit some basic videos or even photos, include animation, your text, your uh, transitions, everything can be taken care of here. And well, to use it, you need to go to the Windows Photo app and then simply click on new video option that you see on the top right hand side corner. From here, you can start creating a video of your own. It's not a bad option and honestly, it works just as good as iMovie does on macOS. You can add your own videos, create 3D effects, add filters and whatnot. Now, as for exporting, you get three options to choose in terms of quality, but I guess that would suffice for most of the users out there. Now, this app is very simple to use. It's a built-in video editor. You don't need to download any additional app. And uh, I guess for 60% of the users out there, this would do it. Now, it's very simple to learn and uh, there are some online tutorials that will teach you about it. You can Google that or if possible, I'll provide the links in the description of this video. Now, moving on, the next software that you can try is Wondershare's Filmora. Now, the app is available for Android and iOS, but the Windows software is the one that has the most features. The interface is simple to use cause it's intuitive nature and makes it easy for anyone to make videos in here. In fact, it's one of the rare softwares that offers a multi-layered timeline view without making it complicated. You get support for 4K resolutions, the ability to advance keyframing and even create green screen effects. Now, the only drawback here for this particular app is that for the free version, you get a watermark when you export your videos. I mean, that particular watermark will be there until you pay for the premium version. But then if it's something for your personal use, then you can really use this video with that watermark as well. But now, if you don't want that watermark, the next best option to go would be for an open source app. Now, OpenShot is another video editor that you can look into. It's actually quite popular and if you haven't given it a shot, make sure that you do. The software offers pretty much what you'd expect from a good and capable video editor without charging you any money for it. The software supports all major audio and video formats, has support for drag and drop, allows you to make 3D titles and effects and similar to Filmora, also offers a multi-track timeline view. Now the interface here can feel slightly outdated but to be honest, that's a trade-off I'm willing to make. Now, before we get to the cream of the studio, the last software that you can use, I mean, the last software has to be the best, right? But then the second last that I would really recommend for everybody out here would be Kden Live. And it is one of, I mean, you can think about it as the stepping stone towards the finale. Now, talking about the app, the interface is lackluster, I agree. But apart from that, the feature here are absolutely stellar. You get a full-fledged multi-track interface, support for color scopes, proxy maker for fast editing, the ability to keyframe objects and much more. Oh, and before I forget, it comes preloaded with FFMPEG libraries, allowing it to not only read all the formats out there, but even render it in the formats and configurations of your liking. 
And lastly, the app is open source and this is something that I can really recommend for a person like me. I mean, I want things to be free. Open source is really the best bet out there. And for me, the interface can be a little bit tricky, but then if the features are there, it's good to go. And now the best application which you can use for video editing, which is actually free without any issues is DaVinci Resolve. I'm not sure if you've heard about it, but it is the best video editor out there if you're looking for something free. I mean, if you don't want to pay a penny, but still want the best out there. Now you can think of Resolve as the premier pro alternative, but for free. I know it sounds crazy, but it is true. This software offers everything that you'd expect from Premiere for absolutely free. It offers the same professional interface with all the advanced editing features. Now the standard point for the DaVinci Resolve basically is what made its name. It's the color correction tool on offer here. They are literally the best in the business and by no means is that an overstatement. In fact, a lot of creators are actually shifting from Premiere Pro and Final Cut Pro to DaVinci for another reason, which is that it resolves actually make the best use of all the multi coals and thread of your system, thus resulting in pretty much the best performance. Now, while this application free, it's loaded with feature, but then it's something that not everybody would want. So in case you are just looking for some basic video editing, I would suggest you to stick to the top three names that I have discussed in this video. Now I'll give you the download links and all the necessary links in the description of this video. So make sure that you check them out. If you like this video, please do give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do hit that subscribe button for some amazing video content. So well, that's all in this video and I hope to see you in our next video. So until then, take care and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.